and this is Rachel with the Book Mavens and I have some unboxings to do with you guys today. Uh, I have May's Illumicrate, May Fairy Loot, and I think November and December adult bookish boxes. Um, and then I think I, oh, I also have the special edition from the bookish box that came in as well that was outside the monthly sub. Um, <clears throat> some book box news for you. Um, several of the boxes are starting some new subs. Uh, Owl Crate, for example, is starting a book only for adults, uh, which I'm very interested to see what that's going to look like. I do hope at some point in time that they move towards doing adult items as well. I don't mean like adult, I mean like <laughs> some like usable items because their selection and quality is always so good. So I'll be interested to see if they do open that up uh, at a later time. Uh, Illumicrate has started a Evernight, I think it's called, which is a horror sub box. Uh, this week, the um, people who had signed up to be notified uh, were given the opportunity to sign up for that sub. I think that one's starting in the next couple of months, which is interesting uh, for them to do horror. Uh, I did not sign up for that horror. Um, I've read some horror, nothing I can like recall off the top of my head right now. Um, is hit or miss for me, so I I did not opt for that. Um, now some changes I made for my own sub uh, boxes. The TV is very loud in the background. Hold on one sec. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> it's just very very loud through the door. Um, okay, so starting with some changes that I made for my personal subs. So you guys have seen that I I do sub to quite a few different boxes. Um, I have put a pause on my Broken Binding sub. Uh, they, they have not been choosing titles that I've been particularly interested in. Uh, the last set they did was um, a Joe Abercrombie set, and they had already done a Joe Abercrombie set before, um, and I just didn't, I didn't really want to jump into that. Joe Abercrombie is, I think he's a very, very good writer. His writing has just not appealed to me very much. It doesn't mean I don't... I might go back and revisit. Uh, I started his first law trilogy and only made it about halfway through the second book of that trilogy where I was just not really, I think, in the right headspace for, for it. Uh, his characters were interesting. It's not really a criticism about his writing. It just wasn't fitting what I was looking for at the time. But anyway, setting that aside, uh, <laughs> they chose to do another trilogy set of his like within the same year and I thought that was just a lot. Uh, so I had... Um, I didn't skip it because you only get one skip a year and it's for the entire like three month set of books. They typically run in trilogies. And um, a friend of mine actually really wanted it so I've kept them <laughs> for him. And then I have the uh, Bone Ship books, the Thai Child trilogy. I'm just, they're sending me one more. And so I am, I have skipped July, August and September's choice. And I don't even recall what it is to be honest, I skipped it. I'm really, the big thing with the Broken Binding that I'm holding out for is for them to do Robin Hobb. I really want them to do Robin Hobb, not so much as the Farseer trilogy. There's a beautiful hardcover set of those which you guys have seen. Um, but I really want them to do Live Ship. I really like them to do the rest of the books at some point in time. So that's primarily why I'm sticking with the Broken Binding. So we'll see what they're gonna roll out with in the fall um, after the September book goes out what they have lined up for October, November, and December. So we'll see. Um, if not, I can always get buyers <laughs> for those books for at cost. I don't I don't try and upsell anybody on those. Um, there's a lot of takers. A lot of people are very interested in that sub, which I think is great. I think it's a wonderful sub. I think they do a great job on their special editions. Their quality control is very, very good. Um, I just, the titles have just not really struck my fancy. So we'll see what they come out with. So that one is on pause, so you won't see anything from that one for a while. Um, I do primarily only open the boxes with you guys now that have the goodies and stuff. Um, so with Fairy Loot, I cut my YA with, with goodies sub. So now I opted to do the YA and adult books book only. So it's a combo, so I get both of those together. So you'll be able to see those, the May picks um, with me. So the only boxes that I'm getting now with goodies are Illumicrate and Owl Crate. Now, I do think overall that they have the best goodies. Now, I need to talk about the bookish box. 
I have canceled my Bookish Box subs. Um, June will be my last books from them. You might have heard the beginning of this video <laughs> that I will be opening November and December as adult picks. Guys, I just got those today. And I'm just, the delays are astronomical. I can't even tell you how much money I have tied up in pre-orders and boxes that haven't come in and I just can't justify it anymore. I still really like the bookish box. I do. I think their items are always really good um, in terms of the series that I collect for which are primarily Sarah J Maas titles. I love getting those items. I do and they're the most prolific at giving them to me. <laughs> so what I'm hoping is that, that they will get caught up. They have a new distribution center, which I think is still, they're still working out the kinks with that. And I'm hoping that once they catch up, if they do, then I will subscribe again. Uh, because I do tend to really like what they do. I don't always love their choices. Now I have been reading and going back and reading more of my books from the sub boxes. And I read River of Shadows. I really dislike that book. So the indie authors you guys have heard me talk about, they focus a lot on indie authors, which I think is great to give them a voice. It's just that the the actual works have been very hit or miss for me. So I just don't know if I want to continue to invest. It's really more of a reflection about me and that I need to be doing more investigation <laughs> into the titles um, for making the decision to get the box and whether or not to skip. So hopefully with time we'll see they have not to my knowledge at this point in time announced their july august and september picks so i have no idea what's coming out in the next three months from them um as opposed to some of the other boxes that tend to leak more information so that was all my book box news so you kind of know where i am with my subs i still do goldsboro I never really do Goldsboro unboxings anymore. If you would like to see more of those Goldsboro ones, I'm more than happy to film them for you. Just let me know. Uh, I just, um, I tend to open them and throw them on the shelf. <laughs> and that's just what I've been doing. Uh, some of the titles leap out, leap out at me more than others, but I haven't skipped a Goldsboro yet. So, um, since I've gotten this up, so we'll see. Uh, I have another one, Inkstone, but that's a quarterly one. Um, they don't do really flashy books. Uh, primarily the edges have all been pretty solid, so I haven't showed them off because I don't think they're really like spectacular looking or anything. But in terms of a collector, um, Inkstone is definitely an, a good one, especially if you don't want to get one every month. It's just four books a year, so that's kind of nice. So, um, so I'm going to go ahead and start with the Illumicrate box. I don't know if you guys have seen this. We can do a kind of like a book box battle and you all can let me know um, what you thought. Now I only have two boxes potentially unless Bookish Box did send me both November and December for us to kind of judge um, since you don't do fairy loot anymore. And you guys have already seen the Owlcrate box because they ship so much earlier in the month. All right. So our um, theme this month was What Lies Beneath. It reminds me of that movie. Did you see that with Harrison Ford? He's not a very nice man. Um, anyway, <laughs> moving on. All right, so they did debut a new collector's item in this box. So this is Illuminate's a halfway plant pot. So very, very similar, I think, to what we see with their... Um, with their book pots, which are adorable, and I love these. I think these are great, so I have my little book light sticking out of it. Um, I hope to get more of those, but they only do those like two or three times a year. So I love the ceramic items. I wish that they would do more that weren't just like tea sets. I'm not big on the tea sets because like when I have a tea, like I have it in a mug and it's like, God, it's like present, you know? So I would love for them to do more things like this. This is cool. All right, let me see. I'm just gonna throw it on the ground. All right, so let's take a look here. All right, it is very heavy. All right, so we've got some death themes going on here. Beautiful flowers, so the colors are very nice. It's a nice size. See, I like things like this. This is, this is an item where I can put things in it. Very, very nice. I'm trying to find if there's a seam on it in the design. No, it's pretty fluid all the way around, which is that's always so nice. And then it has a Loomer cream stamp at the bottom. So this is very cool. It's a good size. I'm not a small person, so like my hands are quite long. 
so you can see it's a nice one i like that i'll be keeping that what let me see what it's pretty fandom neutral to me but let's see what it's supposed to oh by house of hollow i did not read that one so that's more of a horror pick so that's kind of cool oh by the way illuminate's horror box is just the book it's, it doesn't come with stuff all right let's see what else we got okay so we've got a random pop socket in here check it out it's black and silver so it's kind of hard to pick up on the camera without flashing a flashing light back all right so it says he was a paper moth in the dark and she was a light and yeah and she was a light okay so what's this from these are all like oh, i dropped it i'll look at it in a second um i do like the bookish pop sockets they're pretty cool however my case on my phone is has like a pop socket thing so it doesn't work very well um but i just need to get a different case for my phone okay so let's see metal mark me metal metal bookmark inspired by the book that's featured let's see if you guys can figure it out for the month all right oh this is really beautiful check this out all right so it's metal so it's on this paper so it'll pop off this paper look at the whale and the beautiful shell it's like kind of iridescent and then it has one of the little hangy things over it and it's like a heart an anatomical heart that's really beautiful i like that oh and the bottom look it's like a ship i like it it's very moby dick <laughs> um but this is really pretty i would never use this this would be a display item i would definitely ooh, stick it somewhere so you could so you could really study it but it's gorgeous all right so i'm gonna put that in our cool death book pot over here all right let's see okay so we have a fabric item i think this is one of those like book storage bin things yeah. all right Ooh, okay creepy it's got some human teeth on it that's cool and it says wishes are false hope is true hope makes its own magic all right so this is a laney taylor quote so this is pulling from either strange the dreamer or daughter smoke and bone i'm thinking strange the dreamer with the blue teeth Mama. i'll be on in a little bit guys okay it's always a fun time here in the summer for those of you who have small children just what do you do with them all summer like i'm off at home all summer with my children i love my children but they drive me insane so those of you who have figured out how to get them to not destroy your house all day long leave me a message about that all right so I did pick this up off the floor though, so that was handy. So the pop socket is from, oh, The Whispering Dark. I read that book. Huh. It's cool because the moth has like the skull on it. It reminds me very much of Silence of the Lambs. So that's kind of cool and spooky. This is a spooky box. This should have been like a Halloween box. All right, moving along. Let's see. Um, so the cool bookmark is from the book. I don't want to tell you what it is yet. All right, let's see. And this is Hope is Magic. So Daughter Smoke and Bone. All right, so I knew it had to be one of her two series. I have both of those series. I've heard wonderful things about her writing. Haven't touched the books. And I have beautiful special edition sets of them. Haven't touched them. I will though. It's on the list. I like these though. People say they use them for like their TBRs and stuff. So they, they put their, bo their books in here. Super cute. I do like this. I will use it. I'll probably put it on my TBR cart. If you guys haven't seen that, it's four sets like four levels and not the three level I did the four and it is packed with books but I like these these are cool I like fabric items like this all right let's see all right so then we have our book and our book is Witch King by Martha Wells now this was an anticipated choice pick for me I really liked um All Systems Red the first Murderbot Diaries novella I fully intend to complete that series. I do love it. Um, I just haven't yet. I, I have them sitting in my Amazon cart, like all of them. Uh, and I just haven't pulled the trigger on them simply because like newer things keep coming out and it just, 
it gets pushed back but I need to just do it because I really do if you like some science fiction you don't want to commit to like something like really long like a big chonker of a book um check out uh check out Martha Wells all right so here we go Martha Wells Witch King so it's a full-length novel um I believe that this art here with the guy girl not really sure um I think it's pretty similar to the original art it has these beautiful sprayed edges this kind of tapestry effect which I like it's very very pretty the purple all right it does not have a reverse jacket so I'm gonna set that aside so here we have our naked cover nothing on the back it's very pretty the foiling it says I know who you are the demons the mortals call king of the witches do you promise revenge all right there we go so look at our cool artwork here with the whale that's very cool. Creek. All right, I've got, I'm happy to see that there's different art in the back. That's pretty cool. I'm digging it. All right. And then it is signed. All right. So, uh, Martha Wells, Witch King. I'm very, very excited about this one. I actually don't know, like, hardly anything about it. I've been resisting reading things about it because I don't want, number one, I don't want to be spoiled. And number two, um, I really like her writing style, so I know I'm going to like it. So I just haven't done it because I want to go in without any kind of real knowledge about what the book is. So sometimes I like to do that just to be really surprised and really enjoy the reading process. But I will, be sh I will for sure do a review when I finish it and let you guys know what I thought. Of course, right? Now, <clears throat> the only thing I can say about this design that I don't love is that this is foiled. So you can see that it's, it's foiled but it's not on the spine. I think this should have gotten the foil as well, just to tie it in. That's my only complaint. I do like the this cover art. I think it's very cool. I've been feeling character art lately. Not all character art, but like the good character art, I like it. All right, I get a little tired of like, of books consistently just using like flowers, like just flowers, random flowers. I need some people. Like I need, I need to know what I'm looking at. All right, so I have a bookish box. Now I did unwrap this one because the box looked kind of crushed on one side. So I just wanted to make sure the book was okay. And it was, um, everything looked fine. So this is a Katie Robert book. Yeah. Yeah, The Court of the, Grand of the Vampire Queen by Katie Robert. Now you all have heard me review Katie Robert books before. She is not my favorite author. I most likely will not hold on to this edition. I ordered it eons ago and um, I probably shouldn't have. <laughs> so I did hear it's very spicy. It is a bit of a, I don't know if it's really necessarily a why choose, but it definitely has, um, it's very, very spicy. So here we have, this is the reverse jacket. So Court of the Vampire Queen, Katie Robert, and they foiled their side design which I appreciate the back is really beautiful though I love that I think that's really pretty so I'm kind of like should I keep it just because I think it's really pretty I mean she's not very big the the sprayed edges are nothing special I don't really care about those um oh goodness I cannot um there was a page overlay but I can't show it to you because it's, <laughs> it's a little spicy <laughs> it's, a, it's a little naughty so I will keep that to myself but here is the naked book all right it's very pretty i think bookish box really knocks it out of the park with like gothic ones like i love the diary of blood edition they did which is really stunning but here you can see the interior flaps with the roses very cool and so when the book came this was the dust jacket that was on the outside it's it's very subtle so if you really don't like any kind of character art well there you go see flower <laughs> um it's very very cool very very subtle very very dark that's why I like this one better. I do think that this is really beautiful. And I would probably display it with the back out because that's really cool, very creepy. Um, well, let me know what you think of the design of this book. Uh, will I read it? Maybe. Maybe if I'm just in the mood to read something really smutty. Because <laughs> I think, I think, I, I saw somebody talk about this book and they're like, man, page six. <laughs> It's, it's going on. So uh, I don't know. I will have to save that for a very kind of specific mood, I guess. 
Um, but the art is beautiful. That is just, look at that. That is just stunning. I think that's really pretty. All right, very creepy. All right, so there was the special edition. So that was just by itself. Ooh, let me put the very spicy uh, page overlay back in there. Don't want to lose that. My kids would be like, what is this? <laughs> that would be a nice conversation. All right, so here is my fairy loot. So like I told you earlier, I did opt to do book only. It saved me some money. And um, fairy loot items are just so hit or miss. And I say that, but the YA for this box, I did end up getting a couple items. They had a really cool Valkyrie helmet pin. So I bought it secondhand and they had a really cool bag. Oh, I can show that to you. I have that sitting right here. Um, very, very similar to one I've already gotten that has like the books on it. But this one was Greek inspired. And I love that because I do read a lot of Greek mythology books. So I thought this is really cool. And I like these cool tones. The other one um, has more kind of, I guess, more general fantasy on it is brown in tone. So I love that this is more cool toned. So that's very, very cool. I love me a good tote bag. I will not lie. Okay, so let me see what we got going on in here. Ooh, peanuts everywhere. Let me get the cheap books out. All right. So they did come wrapped nicely in the bags. Appreciate that. They don't really protect the books very much, but it's still just part of the packaging thing. It's always nice to see. All right, let's see. So I don't get any of the items. I think, oh, they still, oh, I still get the art cards. So that's nice. Okay. Ooh, I'm very excited. This is my Divine Rivals. I do have the Owl Crate edition, which is very, very beautiful. Very, very different. And I really like this cover. I think it's very, very cool. I want to say before you look at, oh, mine are in the middle. I'm so happy. Here's the edges. <laughs> Some people's letters were like really off to one side and not centered. Mine look pretty centered. I'm not complaining about that. So I already did a review about Divine Rivals, which you guys have seen if you watch the videos regularly. Um, so you know how much I love this book. So I'm very, very excited that I have such a beautiful edition. And I love when they do gold on a gray background. It just pops, it looks so good a good decision all right so it doesn't have a reverse jacket um it just nothing really that special i would never display this naked because i do really like the cover art but look at these end papers look at that they foiled them these are beautiful these are really beautiful i almost wish that they had done this on the outside because i would want to display it with these on with these out these are really beautiful very happy with this one, with this edition. Very, very nice. All right. So I'm happy to have this in my collection. You know, I don't mind having multiple copies of the same book if I love the book and I and I really enjoyed this one. Plus, when they come out with the sequel, because this is supposed to be a duology, I believe. Um, hopefully, I'll end up with both sets. We'll see. But this is very nice. Ooh, I have been reading a whole lot lately, so I am going to have a rapid fire review video for you um, a little later. All right, here's our author letter and art. Very, very cool. And then Feuding Gods. All right, so this was the YA. Yeah, this is the YA choice, which I don't really think Divine Rivals is really that YA, to be honest. All right. Let's see. It's just, it's not about spice or anything like that. It's just about the, the topics. It's war. Wartime stuff always, I feel like, should be bigger than that. All right. So the book only adult box, the curse, the theme was kiss or kill. And our book is The Curse of Saints. All right. There we go. I. I like when they do the shiny on top of the mat. It's such great contrast and that that art's really pretty. That character art's really, really pretty. So the edges, yeah, people were complaining they hate the ombre edges. It doesn't bother me. I the more I collect, the more 
I'm interested in the covers, like the dust jacket art um, and the end pages. And if they do overlays or anything like that, I really like that kind of stuff. Um, and less about the edges. Now when they're really beautiful, like Divine Rivals with the letters is adorable, but like when they don't go, you know, super crazy and ornate, this, but this doesn't bother me. This would have bothered me when I first started collecting though, and I really like all the edges. But this is beautiful. Look at the naked book. I like it when they do things like this with the foil. This is pretty. All right, it's, it's pretty. It's like a rose gold too. It's not like a uh, yellow gold. All right, no reverse jacket. Let's see. Very nice. Oh, we have two different ones. Okay, very, very cool. Is it signed? It is. Very cool. I don't think I checked. I know the Katie Robert book is not signed. Um, Divine Rivals, I'm not sure is signed. I'm gonna check that because I really wanna know. But this is cool. I've heard very good things about the Curse of Saints. I'll wait till I read it to give you a full review. Um, if you've read it and heard good things, let me know in the comments. Let me see if Divine Rivals was signed. Mm, no. Nope. Nope. That is a printed signature, but that's okay because my, um, my Owl Crate one is hand signed. And then I also have a River Enchanted and a Fire Endless by Rebecca Ross that are hand signed as well as Dreams Lie Beneath, I think is the other one that I have by her. Now I have started a River Enchanted. I'm not very far into it to offer an opinion. Um, but I hope to have a review on this one and the other one, a fire endless soon. All right. So all I have left is the bookish box. You can see it was in a really big box. So that's why I'm thinking that they, they did say that they were going to do that for some boxes to double them. It came kind of beat up though. I mean, the tape's intact, so we'll see. So fingers crossed that this is both November and December adult. Now I did get November and December YA. I already got that stuff. I got that stuff like forever ago, like March and April. So this is, look at how I'm cutting. This is the most awkward thing you've ever seen. Um, I'm really hoping that they get going. I'm hoping that they're going to, I heard that tomorrow they're going to leak their fourth wing edition. Now I have been going nuts with the fourth wing. I did a review for that one already. I loved it. Oh yeah, it has both. All right, so November and December. Boo -boo. All right, so double unboxing. Let's see what we see. I don't know what goes with which. So, well, I guess I could look at it. Okay, let's see. November. I actually don't know what's in these because I haven't seen them. <laughs> I haven't seen them. Have not seen them. All right, so that's the young adult. Young adult. All right, so the adult box... Um, the theme was Twists of Fate. All right, so we have a candle. So I'm going to keep it here so I can see. Let's see. Oh, so this must be December. All right, let's see. I'm trying to make sure that I can match it up. How funny. All right, let's see. So this one, Literary Miss. Mist fell. So this is from What Lies Beyond the Veil, which I haven't read yet. So it's a candle. Mist fell. All right. So this is supposed to have combines the tartness of cranberries and currants with the pleasing herbaceous accords. With pleasing herbaceous accords. All right. Oh yeah, that smells good. It smells like a cranberry candle. Done. A little, little, little hint of smokiness if you really want to get specific with it. All right, nice. That's a nice fall candle. All right, what else is supposed to come in here? Oh, there's a candle carousel. There we go. Ooh, it's a Crescent City candle carousel. Nice, nice. Cool. All right, guys, I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna set it up so we can look at it. All right, and voila, here we go. So super cute, little um, crescent moons and stars with little punch outs. 
very cute. I love these. <laughs> I love me a little candle carousel. I think we have, yeah, there's a Bat Boy one um, that's adorable, um, that's gold. I don't think they've done a Terrison one yet. Pretty sure they haven't. So that'd be cool. They have all three Sarah Dimas. See, this is why I like the Boogish Box. They always give me an SJM item. I mean, I live for that. All right. So let's see. So we saw the candle, the carousel. Um, let's see. A tea nest. What is that? All right. So this is from the Bargainer. All right. The Bargainer series. Now I have read Repsotic. I'm saving that for, for a review. Ooh. Ooh, it's a big one. I like this. All right. So this is what you would use for like loose tea. Um, this is good because you could do it in a big pot or like a big, um, yeah, you could put this, you could use it in a, um, it's a little dirty. I need to clean it. Um, so it says bargainer, bargainer. I would like to make a deal. Very, very cool. So it can sit in a teapot. So you actually use this in a decent sized teapot that holds quite a bit of loose tea, um, or a larger mug. If you want, you could probably set it right on top. Um, but cool. I love tea stuff, you know, bookish people and tea just go hand in hand. So very, very cool. I like that. All right, let's see what else. Ooh, fuzzy socks. Now, the last time we got fuzzy socks from them, they were like slippers and they were like for like an eight year old child. So I don't know who fit into those. Not me. All right. So let's see. So these are inspired by Raven Kennedy. So Guild. All right. The Plated Prisoner. Oh, cute. So they'll just say the Plated Prisoner series and they do look like they're actual adult size socks. So I'm very, very excited about my fluffy socks. So yeah, it has a nice little embroidery, embroidery, embroidered design. All right. The Plated Prisoner series on either sock. Super cute. Love me a good pair of fuzzy socks. But remember, it is June. And this is from November. All of these things, the tea, the candle, well, we get candles no matter what, but would have been lovely in November or even December. All right. So that's it for the November box. So we got the tea strainer from Bargainer. We've got the Plato Prisoner socks, the fuzzy socks. We got the cool candles carousel and the candle and did I miss anything? Was that everything? Oh, I could actually check. Yes. Okay. So that was everything. So let's take a look at the book. So the book for this month was House of Beating Wings by Olivia Wildstein. Steen. Wildstein. Very, very cool. Very pretty. She's heavy. I love all of the crows. So the back says, free the five iron crows and you will be queen. All right very bright um, edges there. It matches the uh, kind of foiling of the writing there. All right. Oh, oh, I didn't know there were like, are there like sea creatures? I don't know what's going on. So there's a reverse jacket. I'll take that off in a second. Let's take out the, check out the papers. The end papers are very, they're very shiny. Oh no, my edges are a little crushed. That's all right. We'll go back. All right. Okay. Oh, we, we have a bird being saved. All right, bird being saved. Um, very interesting that they used a shiny paper. I don't think I've ever seen end papers that shiny. Um, here's our tip in. Is it hand signed? Oh, there's some really pretty character art and stuff inside. That's kind of cool. Um, that, I don't. I don't know if that's signed or not. Like the tip in's really thick, so you can't, and there's a design on the back. So usually you can see some bleed through. I don't know, I'll have to look and see if that's actually hand signed or not. All right, so let's take a look at the Naked Book. Some other foreign language on the cover. I'm not that impressed with this, that's, but it's just fine. But I like the, the cover art's really pretty. All right, so those of you who do not like uh, people on your cover, I always like if they give you the option. All right, so you can just have that with the crows, um, a house of beating wings, and then a quote on the back. What's it say? 
no one owns the sky the same way no one owns the sea the same way no one owns me all right words to live by all right um this is pretty cool i don't know i'll have to sometimes after i read the book it changes how i view things and sometimes i'll go back and i'll change how i have my dust jackets does anybody else do that is that weird <laughs> I'm going to leave it with this because I do like the girl on the cover. Like I told you guys, I've been feeling the character art lately. I think that's really pretty. So we're going to stick that up there. All right. So that was the November adult. So let's take about take a look at the December adult. All right. So let me change my little magazine over. All right. Adult box. Okay. Let's see. So let's go in order. So we have a jewelry item, a dagger necklace, uh, it's from, from Blood and Ash, murderous little creature necklace. I am not the biggest fan of From Blood and Ash. Um, so this says, it's heavy. You're an absolutely stunning murderous little creature. You can kind of see that it's printed on there. Um. Um, I'm not in love with that design. Even if I like the book, that's not, that's not my favorite. Now, those of you though, little side note, if you like this kind of design, Enchanted Oddities, all right, just came out with a line of SJM ones that are themed with like Crescent City, Terracin, and Valaris. So if you like the shape of these pendants and you want like a better design. Now, I did not go with the Enchanted Oddities one. I thought they were a little busy you know, but she still designs beautiful things. So if you like the style of necklace, I would go check it out. Now, that being said, I do like the chain. So depending on the length of the chain, <laughs> I might just with the chain. I do like these kind of links. I think that they're really cool. So uh, yeah, so I might just use it for the chain. But this, this will be coming off. But let me know. I, I don't think it's a bad item. I just, I don't care for the specific design. However, the metal is quite heavy. It's, it's, you know, I mean, it's not real gold or anything, but it's, uh, it doesn't feel as cheap as some of the jewelry items in the boxes feel sometimes. So get that going for us. I don't know what I did. Oh, there it is. With the lid. So I'm going to, I'll, I'll let you know if, if the chain works out. All right, so let's see what's next. A blanket. This is this big item I've been moving around in here. So this is, I'm excited for this blanket. You know, I, I normally don't like the blankets. Remember, this was the December box. And it would have made sense. All right, so this is from A Court of Silver Flames. And so it's an SJM item. This is what I will miss from there. This is all their SJM stuff. Now, I thought it had a picture of the ladies on it. Maybe that was just a different design. So this just has a big quote on it. So that's fine too. I like it. All right. So it has that Valkyrie quote on it. It says, I am the rock against which the surf crashes. Nothing can break me. And it says a quarter silver flames on the bottom of it. And it just has this floral motif going all the way around. It's kind of hard to, I can't fit it all in, but yeah. Now, Bookish Box to me compared to what I've seen like um with Olimacrate Owlcrate does blankets too um I don't think I've actually got no I know I have um I do think bookish boxes are the nicest only because they tend to be the largest so this is big Olimacrate's the smallest Owlcrate might be the same size as this but um I'm not sure but I'm excited about this because I am going to be doing a read-in with Amanda for uh, the next Crescent City book and if you know you know um, about what happens at the end of Crescent City 2 that this blanket I think is very appropriate so <laughs> I'm going to definitely save that um, for when we do that and now that book comes out January 30th all right let's see so we looked at the dagger necklace the blanket there's a bookmark I hate when they do bookmarks this is inspired by Act Your Age, Eve, Eve Brown. I have not read this. I believe that that's okay. the reason why I have it is because of contemporary romance. I don't know why they put that in here. 
Um, so it says, you're not just my sunshine, you're the sun. It's a cute quote. It's a cute bookmark. I don't think this should count as an item. It's just paper. That's kind of a cop out. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, now, here's the thing. Let me rewind that. They did put a blanket in here. That's a pretty, it's a, it tends to be a more expensive item. So I'll leave it alone. It's fine. All right, but I'm gonna put that over there in my death cup. All right, so our candle, ooh, this is a Pride and Prejudice one. So this is the last of the Wanderlust candle line. I don't know if there are candles in the next ones, if they decide to do a different collection. I know they're doing like world, like doorways or windows into other worlds. So that might be taking over the candles. Maybe they're not doing candles at all anymore. We'll have to see. So guys, now just because I canceled my box, I'm still getting them all the way through June. All right, so we'll have plenty of, of bookish box unboxings for January, February, March, April, May, and June for both adult and YA. I didn't cancel, I didn't go back and cancel orders. All right, so Pemberley. So the scents in here, let's see what I'm supposed to smell. Uh, take a brisk winter walk down Main Street and indulge in the sweet smell of freshly baked gingerbread. All right. Mm, I don't know if I like that. Actually, that's not too bad. See, always, baked goods always freak me out because I don't like things that are really sweet. Like, I don't like cinnamon buns. I don't like baked anything. But this is not, this isn't bad. This is spicy. So it's more like a spice candle. But super cute. I love Pride and Prejudice. So happy about that. All right. So let's take a look at the book. She's hefty. She didn't come in the green sleeve, which is fine. I have so many of those things. I'm just happy they bubble wrapped it up these so it did come protected. Oh, and she's plastic wrapped. Want to make sure she's getting here. All right. So I know that this is a naked cover. I'm excited about this one. I've heard um, good things about this book. So this is by Jess Wisecup. It's Between Wrath and Mercy. So what I hear people talking about this, I remember this is a romanticy, but the big thing that I've heard about this that I'm excited about is that our female protagonist is in her 30s. Rock on. So she's not an infant. I'm excited about that. So here we go. Between Wrath and Mercy. It's pretty. I like it. People, I love that they put a character on the back too. That's cool. It says, my fire, my flame, my heart. And look at the edges. This is a very pretty book. I like it. Mm. Oh, all right. Cool, 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 cool. We have, we have some lovely plus size representation. All right, I love all the purple. Very pretty. Same on the back. Let's see if she's signed. Yes, and she's hand signed. All right. Very nice. Very pretty. Um. Oh, this is amazing. Listen to this. So her, um, you know, like the oh, what do they call that? inscription forward. I know it's not a forward, but it says for all the mothers who still dream to be part of the fairy tale and for me. That's amazing because I'm a mom and I definitely wish I could be part of the fairy tale. But this is beautiful. This is a beautiful book. I hope, I know that there's a sequel to this. I don't know how many there are, but um, let's see. Between Wrath and Mercy and then there's Between Despair and Hope and then there's Between Fear and Favor, which comes out this year. And then there's a book for to be determined. All right. Um, so I don't know. Hopefully Bookish Box will continue. Um, even though I'm not a subscriber because I do have this, I still get early access. So I'll be alerted when the sequels go, which is something really nice. And most of the boxes do that. So if you already have um, one of the books in the series that you ordered directly from them, um, they will still, they will alert you. They do want you to complete your sets, which I really appreciate because they know that it's most likely a for sure sale as well. It's a smart business decision. Um, but this is beautiful. I'm very happy with this book. So, uh, today's, uh, haul here for books. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six books today, um, that I was able to share with you. So 
let me know in the comments which uh, box you thought really knocked it out of the park. Was it Illumicrate with the items with the cool death pot? That's what I'm going to call it. <laughs> the death pot and the beautiful metal uh, whale bookmark with Witch King. Uh, was it uh, any of the bookish box stuff? Did you like the quarter silver fringe blanket? Did you like the cool candle carousel from Crescent City or the candles in general? The Wanderlust candle designs are really cool. Um, the dagger or the the necklace from, from Blood and Ash. I don't know. <laughs> um, but let me know in the comments what you thought. And I look forward to seeing you next time.